I've had Tesla Solar now for over a year. So was it worth it? Let's take a look. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why I chose Tesla in the first place, what it cost, what I've saved. Ultimately, it's all about return and investment. And I'm also gonna cover what I wish I'd known before ordering. First of all, uh, let me just quickly say, if you do decide to order Tesla, use my referral link, you will save $500. Okay, why did I choose Tesla? Well, these are the main five reasons. They do have the cheapest solar offering, um, unless of course you're gonna DIY install it. No, this is about getting it professionally installed and they are the cheapest in the market. They offer the best financing. They have really nice looking solar panels and some people really care about that and some people don't. Um, they do have a great app. Of course, they're a Silicon Valley tech company, so you would expect their software to be good. And if you choose to go with the power walls, you do get protection against outages. Those were all the reasons that I chose to go with Tesla. So let's take a quick look at these. Um, this is the current pricing for a couple of states, including my own, Nevada, also Florida. Uh, prices do vary um, according to uh, every state, but I've seen quotes that are 40% more, 50% more, even double, um, $4 or $5 per watt is not uncommon. Prices are all over the map, so definitely shop around when choosing solar. So what about the financing costs? Most people are gonna finance because you know, installing uh, solar is probably gonna cost you five figures. Um, well, other solar companies, first of all, they charge you finance fees, and I'm not talking about the interest rate. I'm talking about a fee of thousands of dollars just for the privilege of doing financing. And typically, other companies just charge higher rates because they don't have the economies of scale that Tesla do. All right, what about the panels? Well, uh, let's take a look here. Um, they are nice all black panels. They put a low profile edge around uh, the side of them as well. So they look quite sleek. Um, this is actually one of the uh, three pods of panels on my roof and uh, I think it looks rather good. That said, I have a two story house and I don't really see the panels. Um, we don't have any at the front either. They're all at the back and the side. They do have a great app, really nice app. Uh, you can geek out over all the data. Um, I'll share some of that with you later as well. Um, and you will find yourself checking this multiple times per day, especially in the first few months. It's quite fun watching it all. So I did choose um, to, you know, pay the money and get power walls. I did want protection um, during outages, which admittedly we don't get a lot where we are, um, but we work from home. So we just wanted that extra peace of mind. Most people probably don't realize that if you just get solar panels, um, you your power will go out when there's an outage. Um, that's not ideal. Uh, actually, today it is possible um, to get um, solar panels that do stay up, but that's not common. Um, so battery backup using a power wall, um, we have two of them, is the most common way to do it, and that will give you the most protection and, and give you many hours potentially um, off-grid. The other reason I got the power walls, though, was because I didn't have a large enough roof um, for enough solar panels I am optimizing time of use plans. And I will show you what I mean about that later, but I'm saving um, actually uh, an additional $400 per year because of that. And that's on top of the $3,000 as a one-off incentive that I got from my utility for installing storage. It actually helps out the grid to have storage. So my utility uh, wrote me a check to do that. Okay, just another reminder, uh, $500 off. Use that link uh, to order and let's carry on. So what system did I get installed? Well, it's a total of 8.16 kilowatts. So we have 24 panels. Um, the spec of those can change over time. I think they now do um, much bigger ones. Um, these are 340 watt panels. Um, there was a slight change on the day because these four uh, up here, they, they couldn't find enough room. So they, they installed them here. Um, all of our panels face either south uh, or east. I would have liked some west facing ones. I'd be wondering what about this massive gap here? Well, let's take a look. We actually have solar for our pool. This heats um, our pool. Uh, it sends the water through these um, very small pipes and it's the most efficient way to heat your pool. And uh, unfortunately, it just, you know, it does take up room. If you wanna learn more about that, I will be producing a video about that soon, so do subscribe. But unfortunately that did limit 
um, the space that we had available. So for the year, uh, we uh, generated 13 megawatt hours. Um, January, we didn't have a permission to operate, so that number was lower than otherwise would have been. Um, and over the year, uh, we actually consumed 20 megawatt hours. We knew we were going to have a deficit, and that ended up as uh, we imported 7.6 net, uh, 7 .6 net um, from the grid. So that means uh, we have a 65% energy offset um, throughout the year. And uh, we generated um, over $1,500 worth of electricity. And if you look uh, here, you'll see that June, uh, July, August, and September, um, that value was much higher. And that's what I was talking about earlier with the time of use. So um, in here in Las Vegas, the local electricity utility, um, they do have a time of use plan. Um, so during those four summer months between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m., when electricity demand is the highest, um, they do uh, charge significantly more for electricity during those hours. But the upside for us is they also pay significantly more, like five or six times the amount that they would normally pay to buy electricity. So with the power walls and the solar together, during those that 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. hour, we mostly... Um, only export electricity to the grid and that generates um, lots of credits which helps buy us uh, electricity uh, the rest of the summer and the rest of the year so um, that's how we, we we made the most of it in fact our electricity um, consumption did increase because at the same time as we put in solar we also switched from air conditioning and gas furnaces to fully electric heat pumps um, if you want to learn more about that and my cost comparison, uh, check out the video here in the corner of the screen. Okay, so the other benefit of the power wall, of course, is that battery backup. Um, as you can see, we've only had eight total outage events, not even uh, totaling one hour. Um, so yeah, we didn't really need the power walls, but it's nice peace of mind. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, if you're in a different part of the country with a less reliable um, power supply, you know, this, this really can be a lifesaver. Okay, let's look at the numbers. So what did it cost? Panels, $16,000. Powerwall, $17,000. That was for two. Uh, taxes on top, a total cost of 34573 What about the credits? So as I said, we got $3,000 credit from our utility for the Powerwalls. We also got the 30% um, federal tax credit. That is a total of 13372 giving a net cost of $21,000. Um, by the way, it is important to note that uh, you do need to uh, have income uh, to offset to get that tax credit. Um, if your income is lower or you don't have any income, um, you're not going to earn, you're not going to be able to get that tax credit. So it has to be offset. Um, that's one, one thing to note. So for us, was it worth it? Well, I looked at our bills. So 2,388 for the year before, now 810 with the solar. So that's a saving of $1,578 in a year. And if that trend continues, um, the system will pay for itself in about 13 and a half years. Um, the typical lifespan of solar systems is about 25 years. So I think that's not bad. That's a little, little beyond halfway um, to get that return. Okay, so what I didn't know and what I wish I'd known um, I would have done it slightly differently. So I would have kept the pool solar here, but I would have gotten rid of the pool panels here and put in um, the yellow ones represent additional panels that I would, would have liked to have added. Um, and, uh, you know, a couple here facing west would have been nice. I would also have liked to put a couple on my porch at the back, um, but Tesla absolutely refused to put um, panels on any sort of secondary structure. They only want to put it on your main home. Um, other local solar companies would have been um, okay to do that. So that's unfortunate. It's, it's a bit frustrating. Um, but overall, like I can't complain with the, with the costs and everything from, from Tesla. I'm super happy. The system's been great and I've not had any issues. The only other thing that I came across is that um, Tesla don't include any critter guards. These are pictures from my roof of pigeons nesting uh, underneath the panels. 
Um, here's a pigeon ducking under. Um, and in fact, uh, a nearby, uh, my next door neighbor, they had a whole colony of pigeons living underneath. So we both got um, our, our credit cards installed around the edges. Um, that's locked out the pigeons. And uh, we now don't have all this bird poop um, messing up the panels as well. So, but that did cost another $900. So something, something to keep in mind. Well, thanks for watching. If you do order, um, use that uh, link. You will get a discount of up to $500. And uh, if you want to see more, check out my other videos. Um, but thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please give a like. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment. Thank you.